The purpose of today's video is to show you how to move a floor clock from one home to another. We're going to cover basic instructions. For more detailed instructions, go to www.howardmiller.com. First thing you want to do is stop the pendulum from swinging. Once that's done, if you happen to have saved the styrofoam from the original uh, packing material, you want to insert that between the cables above the pulley. If you didn't save the styrofoam material, you just as easily can take old newspaper, roll it up, and insert that above the pulley between the cable. The next thing you're going to do with the weight still on is crank up that weight all the way. Once you have all three weights secured into position, go ahead and remove those weights. Use a soft cloth, not abrasive cloth, to remove the weight. Make sure the weight is securely fastened. And also check the bottom of the weight. The bottom of the weight should be marked with its location as you're facing the front of the clock. That's important because each weight weighs a different amount, and so they need to be reinstalled in the proper position. If it's not marked with the position, this one happens to be left, make a little label and attach it with a piece of tape. Once you have all three weights removed and marked and labeled, put them off into a safe location. From the left side of the clock, you want to remove the side access panel so we can gain access to the pendulum and pendulum guide. Place the side access panel off into a secure and safe location. Next thing we want to do is reach inside the side access panel and grasp the pendulum guide. Once we have a handle on the pendulum guide, we want to reach inside the front of the clock, grasp the pendulum, and raise it slightly to unhook it from the pendulum guide. Place the pendulum off into a secure location. To give you a close-up demonstration of how to remove the pendulum, again, grasp the pendulum guide, grasp through the front door, grasp the pendulum, lift up on the pendulum, and remove the pendulum. Next thing we need to do is secure the chime rods. Depending upon what type of clock you have, you could have four chime rods on one side and four or eight on the other side. So what you want to do is take a piece of cardboard that's approximately one inch by three inch and poke holes in it in a straight line approximately like quarter inch apart. Once you've done that, poke the rods through those holes that you just made into the cardboard and the cardboard will go all the way up behind the movement. The reason this is important because the chime rods will be moving around if you don't while you're shipping the clock and they could break off. Next thing you want to do is remove the other side access panel, place it off into a safe location with the other side access panel that you moved earlier. Then you want to lock the clock, put the key and the crank also in a safe location so they don't get lost. If you have a chain driven clock, you want to make sure that your weights are about halfway, three quarters of the way up. You do not want them all the way up. So following a similar procedure, take a soft cloth, remove the weight, make sure it's securely fastened, and again, check the bottom of the weight to make sure it's marked with its position as you're facing the front of the clock. If it's not marked, this one in particular should be marked left, mark the bottom of the weight with its position as you're facing the front of the clock. Do the same for the other three weights. Place the weights off into a safe and secure location. If you have a chain driven clock, you want to make sure the weights are wound up no further than about three quarters as they're shown here. Similarly, as we did with the cable drive, you want to remove the weight, make sure it's fastened securely at the top, Bottom of the weight should be marked with its position as you're facing the clock. This one should be marked left. If it's not, make sure you get a piece of paper, a tape, and mark the bottom with its position as you're facing the front of the clock. 
Do the same thing with the other two weights. Place the weights off into a secure and safe location. The next thing we're going to do, without pulling the chain down any further, again it's at about three quarter position, we're going to take a twist tie basically and put it through the links on both sides of the chain, one chain at a time. The next thing you want to do is take three twist ties. And again, without pulling the chains any further up, you want to put the twist tie through each set of chains. Once you put it through each set of chains, it should look something like this. The reason for doing that is to make sure that the chain stays secure to the sprocket while you're moving from one home to the next. So now we've covered the very basic details on how to prepare your clock to move from one home to another. Again, go to www.howardmiller.com to review the more detailed instructions. Also at www.howardmiller.com, you'll find the setup instructions. It's important to follow the setup instructions once you get to your new home and prepare the clock.